morning everyone welcome back to our channel it is currently the beginning of session six here at camp green top it is currently thursday the 4th of august we're about to go down to breakfast and then we're going to get ready to greet the campers so let's get ready for another amazing week at camp green top something in the air always something in the air currently the next day now it's uh august the 5th uh 10 past 8 um we've been slacking um we haven't picked up the camera all of this day other than the little piece that you saw just doing before breakfast yesterday and there is good reason for that so i haven't been feeling well for the last day and a half i've been having like cold symptoms maybe even the flu so the last clip you would have seen was just standing in this exact same spot saying that we're going for breakfast and that the campers arrive today. Um, on the way up to the dining hall, I told Jess that I really don't feel too well and I think it's just the cold. But in order to keep everyone safe, I'm going to have my breakfast on my own today. And I suggest Jess has din uh, breakfast with me as well, just in case she's been with me all week so oh all three day break so we had breakfast separate from everyone else everyone asked why i said because i don't feel too well i think it's just a cold but i can never be sure once we had our breakfast we had jobs to do uh to tidy up camp before the campers arrive so my job was to tidy up the green top take all the stuff from the green top and put back in the store cupboard i can't remember what jess job was uh, once we've done that, we found out uh, our camper profiles. So we've got our folder that told us what cabin we were in, um, who was working with, and the four campers that was in our cabin. A bit of information about them, like what the name is, their age, what they actually um, suffer with, their conditions, do they have any behaviours, etc. like that. Just a little bit of info. So we read that. Once we had done that, it was the dreaded COVID tests. Now, to cut a long story short, three people come up uh, positive, and that was me, Jess, and someone else on the leadership team. But there's also someone else that has been spending quite a lot of time with the third person. She's not feeling too well, but she did come back with a negative, but we suspect that that's going to come back positive in the next day or two. Also, a few other, cam uh, a few other staff have done uh, negative tests, but we suspect they will come back positive in the next day or two. So, as a result, of those three positive tests, session six here at Camp Green Top was cancelled. Um, we're gutted. Uh, me and Jess and I, and all the staff really, are here for the campers to give them a good time. And now we've got COVID, um, it had to be cancelled. So uh, we are still going to stay at camp <coughs> uh, because obviously people got plans, people got <coughs> flights. Uh, and plans after camp had finished and they can't just leave us to go now because no one's got anywhere to go so we still continue to stay at camp to the 11th we're still going to get our three meals a day we still got our cabins to sleep in um but yeah that's it so because this was the last final session we've started the big clear up so all the furniture like the shower chairs uh, the benches to change people on all been gone everything's going to go back into storage and it's just a long um the long clean up now, the long tidy up. Oh, I feel rough. I don't feel too bad considering how I was yesterday. I was really rough yesterday. I had a good night's sleep last night, so I don't feel too bad today, but it's still early days. 
So we've still got our three meals, like I said. So we've still got our breakfast at half eight. We've still got to be up there at half eight. We've still got to be meeting up in the dining hall at half 12 for lunch. And then we've still got to be at dinner for six. So we're still on the camp schedule for meals and that. But pretty much now it's just a big clean up over the next few days. Hopefully we'll start testing negative over the next couple of days. I've been feeling like this for about two days. So this is day three now. So I'm probably going to still be suffering like this and testing positive for the next two days. I've got no idea what the plan is today. Absolutely no idea. It's quarter past eight now. And we've got to go for breakfast. Again, Jess and I and the third person and possibly the fourth person will be having our breakfast separate, like all meals. Yesterday, once we realised that camp was going to be closed, everyone started doing the big clean up. Jess and I and the third person um, didn't. They told us to sit in the dining hall away from everyone and just rest and chill, which was a really good help. I didn't have any, any energy in me to start cleaning, to be honest. I don't know if that's going to be the plan today. I don't know if we're going to start cleaning today or again, we're going to be sat out. And then after dinner, we sat in the rec hall away from everyone and watched movies for the rest of the night. So i got no idea what the plan is today. I don't know even if we're going to work with picking up the camera. I've got no idea. Um, there are talks that once everyone tests is negative in the next few days, we might be going to a baseball game as a surprise. But obviously that all depends if we start testing negative. But that's not going to be until like the 8th or 9th. But that's the only update I've got for you. Um, we haven't got the camera out. We've decided to use Jesse's phone because it's all packed away now. We didn't obviously expect the camp to be shut. As I said, we are guarded. Um, I feel very sorry for the campers and the parents that had plans. But what can we do? If, we, if we've been around vulnerable campers for the last week who are susceptible to picking up stuff like this and we're cleaning and we're doing personal care with them, we're going to probably pick it up. Now, me and Jess did test negative on Sunday, but obviously we tested positive on the Wednesday. No, no, we didn't positive Wednesday. We, on Thursday, sorry. So I think that's going to be it all for today. I can't see why the camera need to come out just to watch us sit around the dining hall, isolating from everyone else. But you never know. But um, that's the update for me today. Uh, Jess is currently in the shower. Um, she's not feeling too good either. She was not too bad yesterday. Uh, she's feeling a lot worse today. Uh, she didn't have a cough yesterday, but she's got a cough today. I've had a cough for the last two days. I feel like I've got a load of phlegm on my chest. I feel like I'm all bunged up around here. My eyes keep streaming. Um, I did have diarrhea yesterday. Whether that's a part of COVID symptoms, I don't know, or something I've eaten wrong. Uh, I just feel completely out of it. I don't seem to have any energy. But yeah, that's it for today. We might uh, check in with you later, but for today, on August the 5th, that is probably us done for today. But anything of significance that we feel we might need to see or any updates, we will show you. But don't be surprised if this is it for today. But we'll keep you updated anyway over the next couple of days. But for now, we'll see you later. Good afternoon, everyone. So, uh, Hi, everybody. so, uh, this morning we left the cabin and went up to breakfast, had lovely breakfast, it was breakfast wraps, uh, and then it was sorting out a few jobs after that because even though camp is cancelled, they were still doing travel camp, it's where campers don't stay here, they go to Atlantic City, uh, so obviously that could still go ahead, just the people without Covid could go, so obviously we stayed here with... Just from uh, two people, I think two staff members went to travel camp. So uh, we stayed here obviously because we're not part of travel camp. Um, well, we're not going at. So yeah, once we've uh, done the tidying up in the rec hall, just so the campers and the parents can come and check in for travel camp, we made sure the rec hall was all tidy. And then we just chilled for a little while in the dining hall until lunch. We had lunch which was jacket potatoes. And then everyone else had jobs to do. And me and Jess didn't get jobs. And was like, we can't sit here any longer just um, doing nothing. We have to keep busy or keep active. So I'm recording on Jess's phone again. So that's why it's a bit shaky. Uh, so we went to speak to Mel and she gave us the job of labeling all the t-shirt, the camp merch t-shirts in different sizes. So it's easier for people to buy. Rather than checking the label, we can just write on a bit of sellotape um, and write XL large and out on the t-shirt. So we've done that. 
and now there is a chance for us to go to Walmart. Uh, well, I'm not driving, it's just a, a, a staff arranged trip. So someone from leadership will probably drive and take us all there. Uh, so we're gonna do that. We don't particularly need anything. Although thinking about it, I probably could get some cough, cough syrup or cough sweets or something like that. Maybe some light cold and flu capsules because I've still got my taste, still got my smell. I'm just a bit congest congested around here. And I keep getting all sweaty and clammy all the time. I keep going hot and cold and getting the sweats. Even though it's hot here, I just go all cold and clammy. It's not very nice. Um, but yeah, that's the plan. Once we're back from Walmart, I think they're going to open the pool so the staff can go in the pool for a bit. I'm not going to bother. I can't be bothered. Jess, I think, is going to jump. Well, not jump in, but Jess is going to sit by the side. I'm just going to chill in the beanbags, I think. But yeah, that's the plan. Uh, so yeah, we'll see you. Want me at Walmart? <laughs> Half traps in the trolley. Much needed. This is to take the edge off Wayne's chesty cough. That's what the nurse gave me anyway. I'm sure they'll be all right, won't they? Yeah, they'll be perfect. See. I'm sure they'll be fine, yeah. We'll get those. <coughs> I think they were mine with the white ones, I think, but yeah. they look like they'll be fine. So you've got those ones, or you've got those ones, but you haven't really got a cough, have you? It's just a tickle throat. Yeah, but those ones seem the cheapest ones. Let's have a look. dollar each. $1.24 each. Fat. Right. That nice. should do us enough. I think we're done now. Let's go. Cool, dead. I've got no energy. I've got an afternoon in the pool. Yeah. Do you want to hold on to this? What? The, hold on to yeah, the trolley? The cart, yeah. All right, let's go, sick bug. Yeah, I need it to prop me up. I've got mm -hmm. no energy. I feel rough. I've never seen you like this before. Yeah. All right, let's I've go. A, it just feels like I've got a cold and mm -hmm. all my energy has just been like zapped. But I feel a lot better than I did yesterday. Good. I'm going to afternoon at the pool and you're going to sleep. No, I'm going to watch probably the Arsenal match. Okay. That's you can use my phone if you want. That's the plan. Okay. Right, let's go then. Right, let's go to the teal. Woohoo! <laughs> Thank, Thank you very much. Okay. Thank you. Another successful trip. Yep. How much was that this time? Just a little over 2364. 2364. Yeah. We said 20, didn't yeah. we? Yeah. So it's uh, the next day. It is currently August the 6th at 7.15 in the evening. Now, I think you would have last seen us coming back from Walmart yesterday. I think it was Walmart. Yes, I think it was. I don't think we did anything else once we got back from Walmart. Um, once we got back, we put all our shopping away, sat in the rec hall, uh, we played Uno with the rest of the staff, and then we played Monopoly. That went on till about one in the morning, something like that. And then we just went to bed, so we didn't really need, feel the need to pick up the camera. Um, we woke up this morning, just felt a little bit rough. I felt rough, but a little bit better than what I did yesterday. I still felt I was all like bunged up around here and it's very tender and you know, to touch. Um, still had a nasty cough, a bit chesty as well. Um, we uh, went to breakfast. Um, once breakfast was done, we had a job schedule to follow. So me and Jess and a few others had to, well, basically um, walk around the whole of the camp picking up trash. We all had our separate like positions to walk around because apparently when we come, when we leave the camp on the 11th, the park ranger comes around and if he spots any trash, the league could get in a serious trouble or fined for the trash. So we had to walk around the camp, not just me, everyone had to walk around the camp picking up any trash. 
once we'd done that, we had other jobs. So me and Jess had to go to the office and start clearing out all the office and the stuff, uh, the stuff that's not needed. Obviously we can't unplug the lab laptops and the phones just yet because obviously we're still here. People might still need to contact us um, via whatever reason. So we had to put box up everything that was not needed. Once that was all boxed up in storage boxes, we then moved it to the Arts and Crafts and stored it there. Uh, then we had to deal with some Arts and Crafts stuff that got a bit wet, so we had to repackage those and put them in Ziploc bags, so we done that. that. Another group was in the kitchen, sorting out all the stuff that could go into storage, because obviously the, the, the chef, or the cook, whatever you want to call him, was only cooking for uh, the 18 staff and not 100 staff, you know, a full camp, shall, shall I say. So I'm a bit, still a, bit, a little bit weird at the moment. I still don't feel 100% right. So, oh, that's my hand over the cat lens. Can't be doing that. So, yeah, so um, we, the one group was in the office sorting that out. Another group was sorting out the kitchen stuff. That took us up to lunchtime. Then we had lunch, which was Sloppy Joe's, which were really nice. Once we had done that, we helped some of the people in the kitchen moving all the stuff onto the truck and then drove the truck to the arts and crafts room and stored it all in there. And that took us to about 2 p.m. roughly. And then that was it, us done for the day. So people just chilled in their cabins. I decided to sit in the bean bag, on the bean bags in the rec hall and watch the football. So I watched the Chelsea game, so I watched that. And, uh, a little nap for an hour or two then that took us to about five o'clock and then we sat in the dining hall for about an hour just waiting for dinner really um so once dinner had finished uh which was what was dinner tonight ravioli which was really nice actually i'm not a massive fan of ravioli but it was really nice in fact most of our meals here have been really nice uh, it's been really nice food to be honest so yeah we had ravioli and then Jess said, what should we do tonight? So we thought, well, should we see if we can get a vehicle and just go off the mountain just for an hour, just to get out of this place? So we asked a leadership and they said, yeah, it's fine, take Tina. So we've got Tina. So as you can see, I'm just in the cabin at the moment. Jess has quickly gone to change her, um, her dressing on her permacaf. So she's doing that at the moment. So I'm in charge of doing this. She would have said hello. Um, so yeah, we're gonna take Tina, the van, down to the bottom of the mountain. We're gonna go to Dunkin' Donuts and get a donut and a cup of tea and just chill for an hour without no bugs or without any, um, without the heat, you know, we've got aircon in Dunkin' Donuts. So it's just gonna be nice to get off the mountain and change the scenery. So we're gonna do that in the probably next 10 minutes. Obviously we'll take you with us. Um, but other than that, that's been about it today. Um, I can't remember if we've mentioned this already. Uh, I have to cover this up. Yeah, I can't remember if I've mentioned this already, but uh, me and Jess were planning on going to Washington on the 11th for a day trip, 11th of August. Uh, we assumed, because we base camp on all the other years that we've been, that when camp ends, that, that day after the campers have gone, we'll do a big clean up, there'll be a big staff banquet, and we'll leave the next day. So camp this year and session six this year, if it was happening, would have finished on session, uh, would have finished on the 9th of August. So Jess and I thought, well, we should be off the mountain by the 10th. So we booked the hotel in Baltimore on the 10th to the 14th. And then we'll go to Washington on the 11th. So that's what we did. Now, when we got to camp, we was told that we weren't leaving on the 10th, we're actually gonna leave on the 11th. And that's because obviously when I was here years ago, there was 80 staff. It didn't take that long to clean up. Now there's only like 15 of us, so it's gonna take longer. So we're staying here an extra night, which it doesn't bother me. I like being here anyway. I feel home here. It doesn't bother me. I, if I could stay here, I would. I've got no reason to leave. I love this place so much. It's got a lot of memories, but that means now we're leaving here on the 11th. We're not gonna get into Baltimore till about four or five in the evening. And that means well, obviously we're not gonna to get to Washington because our Washington trip was on the 11th. So we've got a refund for our ticket. And about an hour, we spent about an hour yesterday trying to book new tickets, but the, the just, it just wasn't working. The internet was, not not the internet, the website for Amtrak was down. We tried about an hour, another hour today trying to get tickets and was getting a bit worried because only about four or five seats left at the cheap price. But finally, somehow, I don't know how, but we finally tried my credit card, that failed, then we tried uh, my bank had that failed and I thought, you know what, let's just try PayPal. That's our last hope and it worked. 
So we are now going on the 13th. Uh, so when we leave here on the 11th, we're going to straight to Baltimore, White Marsh. That's where they're going to drop us off. Then we've got to get a train from Baltimore, White Marsh to Baltimore. And then we can check into a hotel for about four or five in the evening. And we've got the rest of the evening there. And we're actually going to see a Ravens game. I'm not a massive football fan, but Jess is. So we're going to see a Ravens game against the Tennessee Titans, I believe. Tennessee Titans. So it's me, Jess, uh, Sophia, Will, Luke and Chiller. So there's six of us going to the game. So we're looking forward to that. The tickets were only like $10 each, which were brilliant. So we're going to start on the 11th. And then that night, I think the six of us are staying in our room. And that's because Luke and uh, Chilla haven't got a room in Baltimore at the moment. It's a little bit short notice. Uh, so we've agreed that we can stay in our room. So when Jess phoned up yesterday, the hotel, just to see if it's okay, they said that we can see on your file that it's your anniversary. So we're going to upgrade you to a bigger room and this room will either have two double beds or one double bed and like a sofa bed so the four of us can stay in there and no extra charge so that was brilliant so i believe they're going to give us like 20 dollars just to help us out which is brilliant now uh, will and sophia uh they're flying in the morning of the, of the 12 to fort lauderdale i believe so they just need to use our room just to leave our bag, leave their bags there and have a shower. So they're going to be with us as well. So it's going to be a good night on the 11th where I'm not entirely looking forward to the game itself. I find it a bit boring, American football, but everyone else is excited. So I'm sure I'll get caught up in the moment when I'm there. So yeah, there'll be six of us in the room for at some point. So I'm not entirely sure when the room tour is going to be done. It'll probably be once they've all left. Uh, we'll just straighten it up and then do the room tour. Uh, but yeah, that's a little update really. I'm sorry there's not been too many these past couple of days. It's just that all we're doing is cleaning at the moment and like tidying and obviously you don't want to watch that. So we thought we'll only pick the camera up when there's any significance, anything that we need to show you or feel that we want to show you or we feel that you'll be interested in. So yeah, that's why I've not vlogged much today or since session six started really because once we found out it was cancelled, uh, there's been not much to show. Oh, Morris has pooed in my basket again. <laughs> Morris, for anyone, is the, the cabin mouse that you've oh, got, isn't it? Yeah. He just constantly poos in there. And he's been chewing at me makeup brushes. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to wrap this up now because I've been speaking for about 11 minutes. Oh my God. And my arms are in. Now, again, we filmed this on Jesse's phone. I know we said that we wouldn't because there's no reason why I can't get the camera we're out. Not staying in the US. But we're not staying in this cabin. We actually spent. We spend every moment up the, on the green top in the rec hall and the dining hall and then we sleep in the di uh, rec hall so we're not really coming down here only for maybe a shower and change of clothes yeah so we don't see the point of getting the camera out and we're just sitting with it because we're not doing anything to show you that's interesting nope. we're literally just sweeping cleaning tidying so that is it now jess is back now we're going to take tina the van which is just parked outside and we're going to go to dunkin donuts get a nice drink and a nice donut and just get some air con for an hour and we're going to get some nice food that's not camp food and i might buy a bug spray yeah you want to buy bug line. spray if you want to get the food line and we want to get some internet that actually works fine because mine keeps cutting out and what else do we want to do that's it isn't it we just want to get off the mountain really don't we mouse trap yeah a mouse trap yeah <laughs> so yeah that's it for us at the moment i'm sorry there's not much more to tell you it, like i said it's just literally cleaning that we've been doing and sitting around sleeping sleeping and it's not nothing that is some it's nothing that you're gonna want to see no. so well we'll see you next at probably going down the mountain won't we yeah yeah so see you soon Oh, <laughs> I filmed all that all nicely. I know, it's fine. You go, I'll see uh, you in a second. I'll see you in a second. Do you want to take that for me? Yep. And That's it, because I need the other arm to record. <laughs> so, we are with Tina again. This is becoming a, a little partnership. Me, Jess and Tina. Loving little Tina. She's served us well over the last couple of weeks. But yep, here's Tina. And as you can see, that's the cabin that Jess is actually in, in B unit. 
Uh, my cabin is that one in the background there. You probably won't be able to see it on camera, it's a C unit, but we're obviously, because campers are not here no more, we just stayed in the rep call. But yep, let's get into the van. Huh? Ah, oh, okay. So you got your bed, we've got the bed in for the right call? Yeah. Yep. I was taking the bed in and a bag full of stuff, but I couldn't sleep in that cabin though. Not on your own anyway? Nope. Say this is a job, didn't it? Then we ain't got to come down here tonight now. If we can, if we get all the bedding in the van now, yep. then it's says it's a job for later. Yes. We got all our wash stuff as well. Yeah, too fresh. Yeah, too fresh and stuff. Yeah. Right. Right. Are you ready for dunking? Yep. Right. Oh. I do need to save some of that battery, by the way, because I need to pay with that phone. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. Right. So we'll see you on the way down the mountain. Yeah. Yeah. Down the mountain. <laughs> How good is it? So good. So what did you get? I got a very large, large iced tea because I'll take this up the mountain. Yeah. Um, is it refillable? Um, no, they're not no, refillable in here. So I got a normal large tea. That's the largest tea, tea ever. <laughs> and we asked for one donut, but as you saw in the last clip, just bought another donut back on the house. Yeah. But when we looked at the receipt, he's not charged us for any of the donuts. Yeah, they've got a frame out, so... Oh, so there's going out anyway. Yeah, so they're giving them us a free. Oh, brilliant. So anyway, that was one tea and one ice sweet tea, and that came to $3.79. Uh, obviously that included the tax there. But that's all right, wasn't it? Mm -hmm. Two drinks. Sorry, I look so rough. You look really like red. Yeah. Do I? But two free donuts. One there. You can have that. I and really one there. That. That's all right, isn't it? Yeah. So, thank you very much. Nice. Stuff. Really nice staff at yeah. the Dunkin' Donuts in Fairmont Mountain. Yeah. And the, the address is just there. It's a bit of like a truck stop town, isn't it? Yeah. Like everything that you need. Yeah. What's the What's the slogan? The, sit, the town before the mountain, the yeah. road to the mountains, or gateway something. Gateway to the mountains. That's it, the gateway to the mountains, yeah. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, so enjoy. Have you told them what we've done today? I've done all that, yeah. Okay. I've done all that, yeah. It's about an 11 minute I video. I saw a chipmunk today, a little one, chipmunk, Scotland, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you on camera? No. Oh, oh well. Too fast. Right. Enjoy anyway. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Every time I use it, look, <laughs> put my arm. Oh. Nearly get a napkin. Hi everyone, so as you've seen, we've just had a nice little date night, haven't we, in Duncan. <laughs> the staff was so nice. Yeah, the staff were really nice in there. As soon as, we, as soon as they heard us speak, they thought, oh my God, you're British. They love it round here, yeah. don't they? It was really, really it's good. A small town, though, it was, it? Yeah, it was just nicely off the mountain. And then we went to the shop next door that used to be a 7 Eleven, but it's now called something different. I think it's like called. It's called Mountain View Convenience. Yeah, store something like Minimart. that. But it used to be a 7 Eleven, so it still is the site, got all the 7 Eleven products. So I got a nice Slurpee. <laughs> it's really cheap, isn't it? It's like $2. It's so Yeah, it's so and then efficient. we got two bottles of Sprite mm. for tomorrow. Off the cleaning again. Yeah, we've got fantastic ice facilities that we were never allowed to touch when we were here, but we are now. No, 10 years ago. It was, it was a bit more strict, wasn't yeah. it, I'd say, but it's a bit more laid back now. But anyway, that is pretty much it now, really, isn't it? 
yeah, we're going to go and chill. I've got to watch a couple of hours. I think we're just going to do our own thing. Well, if we get up there and people playing Uno or cards or Monopoly, we'll have a game. If not, we'll just lie on the bean bags and just chill on yeah. our phones. So the time it's, is now, what time is it? My phone it is coming up to nine o'clock. So it's nine o'clock basically. So we won't be up to the, back, back to camp till probably about 9.20. So it's about a 20 minute drive up the mountain. Yeah. And then obviously we've got to give the keys back to the office. Then we've got to put the bed in in the rec hall, haven't we? That we've got in the car already. Yeah. That you, so get, and then, like Jess said, we'll go to the rec hall and see what everyone else is doing. If there's not much going on, then we'll just chill, won't we? And go on our phones. You've got to do, I've got to watch a few things on my phone. So yeah, I'm going to try and see if I can download and watch a couple of episodes on Love Island. Yeah. And that's it, really. That's it's been it a lovely, is. lovely so, day. We're not, lovely, oh, it's yeah. dirty and filthy. Yeah, it is. But what? It's, how do I explain I changed it? my dressing and I feel all clean. Yeah. It's been it's been a good day, a constructive day, so but tired. it's also been a long, boring day as well, isn't it? But yeah. we've got to make sure we get every single bit of trash up because yeah. at the moment there's bears. I think there's a mama bear and her bear cubs. Um, we've got to also be careful. That's what the rangers said, yeah, wasn't it? Yeah. We saw the rangers today, who were really really nice guys and I gals. Did, I did mention that we had to pick trash up because any bit of trash we could get fined or well, the league could get fined for. Yeah, we don't want that. I think we're going to end it here because all we're going to be doing is just chilling with everyone else, aren't we? So do you want to do the honours? We will see you tomorrow for God knows what day it is. It'll be the night. No, it's the be the seventh, seventh of August tomorrow. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so we'll see you tomorrow, bright and early. We promise we will vlog, won't we? We'll do a bit more. Yeah. We, Sorry we that we haven't. Been. Yeah, it's just there's not much to show you, really, is there? It's just a sitting around all cleaning. We're so trying to get better yeah. as well. But yeah, we'll see you tomorrow for another day of cleaning, probably. <laughs> Hopefully, we might be able to get off the mountain again after dinner. Oh, we'll that'd see. Be nice, yeah. yeah. Right, anyway, we'll love you and leave you and see you tomorrow. Bye. Do you miss me at all? Do you think about the things we used to?